Today, cell phones and netbooks use 2.5 or 3.5 millimeter audio jacks. These audio jacks must detect and accept both headphones and headsets with a microphone. Traditionally, these audio jacks require a circuit which combines several discrete components. This discrete solution poses several inherent issues such as board space, audio fidelity, and the end user's experience. Fairchild Semiconductor now has an integrated solution. The FSA 8008 simplifies your designs and frees up board space. Hi, my name is Seth Prentice. I'm the Analog Switch Applications Engineering Manager at Fairchild Semiconductor. The FSA 8008 is an integrated audio jack detection and configuration switch for three or four pole audio accessories. The FSA 8008 reduces 70% of board space and lowers the bill of material costs. Let's look at three major issues the FSA 8008 addresses. Send in key leakage current issues, send in key three and four pole plug detection problems, and pop and click noise. First, let's take a look at the leakage current here in the lab. Many phones today are used as MP3 players. When used in this capacity, the send end key is used for play and pause. Here is a schematic of the leakage path. Since the headset microphone is not needed, there is excess current from the mic bias voltage through the pull-up resistor and microphone to ground. Here I've attached an amp meter to a phone. It's measuring the DC current leakage from the mic bias. As you can see, the current is greater than 188 microamps. Now, using the same phone, I plug in the FSA 8008 evaluation board with an amp meter on the mic bias. As you can see, the power has been reduced by over 90%, effectively reducing the leakage current. Now we'll connect an oscope to the FSA 8008 SE output. By pressing the send end key, you can see that the SE output changes state proving that the FSA 8008 still recognizes the send end key while saving power. In summary, the FSA 8008 reduces current in MP3 mode by monitoring for a send end key push which isolates the mic bias and saves system power. Next, we'll look at another common issue, the three or four pole plug detection problem. A comparator is used to determine if the plug is three or four pole. If it is a four pole, then the comparator is used to monitor for the send end key push. Mobile manufacturers have reported an issue with the traditional comparator design. Let me show you. If the send end key is stuck, or if the user holds the key down while the plug is inserted into the phone, the phone recognizes the plug as a three pole headphone in error. When this happens, the phone never recovers. When I push the send end key, the phone is unresponsive. It does not enter MP3 mode, and this causes a poor user experience. Let me show you how the FSA 8008 solves the problem. It continuously double checks for a four pole plug if a three pole plug is connected. Here I have the FSA 8008 evaluation board and the J pole output connected to an oscilloscope. The J pole state communicates to the baseband if a three or four pole plug is connected. The J pole output is high for a three pole plug and low for a four pole plug. I will plug in a headset and hold the send in key. Note, after I plug in the headset, the J pole output remains high, indicating a three pole plug. But after I release the send in key, the FSA 8008 detects the difference and updates the J pole output as a four pole. This would then update the phone's baseband and allow the phone to recover from the stuck send in key, improving the overall user experience. Pop and click is the third major issue the FSA 8008 addresses. For this demonstration, I will use an oscilloscope and a microphone. The mic bias is typically on the third or fourth terminal. The left and right speakers are on the first and second terminals. When an audio plug is inserted or removed, the left and right speaker terminals scrape across the mic bias terminal, creating a pop and click. Now I will connect the FSA 8008 evaluation board to the phone. I can now insert and remove the audio plug. The oscope never triggers for a transient and no pop and click can be heard on the microphone. The FSA 8008 monitors for a plug connection or removal. During these times, the device isolates the mic bias from the connector, eliminating the potential for a pop and click. As we have demonstrated today, the FSA 8008 resolves the following issues. Send in key leakage current issues, send in key three and four pole jack detection problems, and pop and click noise. 
The FSA 8008 is an integrated audio jack detection and configuration switch, simplifying your designs and freeing up board space. For more information on the FSA 8008, please visit fairchildsemi.com slash audiojack. I'm Seth Prentice. Thank you for your time.